Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question video series. Here is another interesting question that I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about, then I will show you how to implement this functionality using SQL. So we are provided with a table which contains like two column, column 1 and column 2. So the column 1 basically contains a sequence of number, basically it is the order in which the records are inserted into this table. Column 2 contains some repeating number. So basically the expectation is we need to assign a group number based on the repetition. For example, here 100 repeats here, 200, 300, then on 100, 300, 400, 100. So now what we need to do is we need to write a SQL to assign a group number based on this repetition. For example, for 100 we need to give group number as 1. Then the next set of repeating 200 we need to give group number as 2. The next repeating set is like 300 we need to give group number 3. Very similar to this we need to just give a group number for all the repeating number. One key thing for example the same number repeats again then we need to give another repeat group number. For example in this case 100 we need to give group number as 4. We should not club this 100 with the initial group. So it should be given a new group number. So this is the expectation. Fine. So now let me sh show you how I am going to implement this logic so that it is easy for you to follow while writing the SQL. So we know that this is our input and this is our output. I am going to follow a very simple four step process to implement this functionality. It's not necessary that you have to exactly follow the same step. You can understand the logic from here. And in fact, you can implement a similar logic in other methods also. Fine. Now let me take you through this four step what I am going to follow when writing the SQL. The very first step what I am going to do is I am going to compute the lag of the C2 column. So using the lag analytical function, we can bring the previous rows value in the next row or, a, or any subsequent row. For example, in this case, I am using the lag function to bring the value in a current row to its next row. Something like this, the first row I'm bringing into the second row value. Second row's value I'm just bringing into third row. Similarly, third row to the fourth row. So on and so forth. So here the first row value will be null. So to handle this, I'm just using NVL function. So wherever there is a null, I'm just using the zero. So obviously only the first row value will be null. So I'm just using NVL function to print a zero here. So be careful here. Since the first row value is not 0, I am using it 0. Otherwise, you can use any other number, any other random number or you say any any other number which is not part of the C2 column. Okay. So this is my second step. Third step what I am going to do is, I am going to just compare the C2 column with the column whatever we have computed just now as part of the step 2. When both these column values are exactly same, I am going to print 0. If it is different, I am going to print 1. For example, here 100 and 0 are different, so I am printing 1. Here 100 and 100 here. So these two things are exactly same, I am printing 0. For example, here 200 and 100. So this is different, so I am printing 1. So wherever the values are different, you print 1. Wherever the values are exactly the same, you print 0. This is our third step. The final step is to compute the cumulative sum. So I am just printing the 1 as it is. So 1 plus 0, 1. Again 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 0, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. Similarly. So this is how we will compute the cumulative sum. So we will use the analytical function to compute this cumulative sum which will give us the final group number. So this is our expected output. Fine. Now let me show you how to implement this logic using SQL. Okay, I am creating the table T with two columns C1 and C2 and I am just populating all these test data into this table. So let me just query the information from table. Fine. So let us first query column 1 and column 2. So basically what the first step is, we just need to compute the lag. So let's say lag of C2 comma 1 over 
see one is not a, a mandatory even if you are not giving one the default would be one only here let's say order by c1 that is the order in which i have inserted into this table fine now we got the uh, result of step one so let me just give alias as r here okay so now we got the first steps uh, data or result second step i just want to handle this null value so let me use nvl nvl of this comma zero so be careful right now i'm using zero because my first value in the column c2 is a non-zero if anything else you use some value which is not present in the column c2 or you can use something like 999 some something okay so right now i'm just using zero fine so this is our step two step three is i just want to compare the column c2 and whatever we have computed as part of our step two output so now what i'm going to do let's say case when c2 not equal to whatever we just now computed so let me just copy paste it then if it is not equal then let me print one else let me print zero end let me give alias like r1 here okay so now we got the result of our third step that is based on the comparison of column c2 and the column r we just printed either one or two okay anyway we are not interested in printing this so let me just comment it out and let me make this as r fine now what we are going to do i'm just going to write the cumulative sum in the outer query let me say select c1 c2 comma r from so let us make this as our inner query Yeah, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use sum of r over order by c1. So this will give us the cumulative sum. Let me give alias like group number. So this is our expected output. So here is the query. So just to recap our learning here, as part of the first step, we are using the lag basically to get to the previous rows value in the next row. The second step, we are using the NVL function basically to handle the first uh, rows null value so that I'm using some default value as zero. So this is our second step. In the third step, I'm using the case when uh, class here basically to print either one or zero based on the comparison between the column C2 and the whatever the computed value as part of uh, second step. So for that we are using case, if it is zero, sorry, if it is not uh, same, we are printing one, otherwise we are printing zero. So this is our step three. In the final step, we are using the some analytical function to compute the cumulative sum, nothing but our group number. Okay, so here is a very similar question in aligned with the current question, whatever we are seeing right now. Though the question is very similar, the implementation has to be different. First, let me explain what is the question is about. We are provided with a table which contains some sequence of numbers. We need to group this based on the continuous sequence. For example, in this case, this table contains like 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 15, 16 and 20. Here if you see 1, 2, 3 is a continuous. So we need to print something like starting from 1 to 3. Then 5 is not a continuous, so we just need to print 5 is, it starts with 5 and end with 5. The next is like 7, 8, 9. So we need to print something like starting is 7 and it ends with 9. The next set is 11, 12. So we need to say it starts with 11 and end with 12. The fine 15, 16. So we need to say it starts with 15 and 16 and the final one is like 20. So this question is also somewhat similar to this. However, the implementation will be slightly different than this question. In fact, this question I have already covered here. The link of this video I'll give here in the i card. Also, I will give in the description. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you're not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question, concept videos and performance tuning videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video.